Hey, it's Isabel from TheDietSolutionProgram.com and many people are very surprised when they see how much fat I eat in one day. Well, I'm here to tell you that eating fat does not make you fat, but it depends on the kind of fat that you're eating. So if you're having processed, hydrogenated, and all these fake butters and packaged and processed foods, yes, those fats will make you fat. But if you're having healthy fat from healthy fat sources, those fats will actually help you burn fat. So number one, I want you to know that your body actually cannot function without these healthy fats. Your hormones cannot work properly, your brain and your nervous system cannot work properly, there are a lot of your organs, digestion that just will not function at optimum if you do not feed your body healthy fat. So before I get into these fat sources, I want to talk about the fats that everyone should stay away from. First and foremost, hydrogenated oils. These are really just some chemical concoction that a chemist made in a laboratory to put into packaged foods. Read your labels and if you see hydrogenated oil, stay away from it at all costs. The other kind of fat I want you to stay away from are margarine and these fake butter products that are out on the market. People think these things are better, but they're not because they're so infused with chemicals and they're actually man-made. There's nothing natural about them. There's also a lot of vegetable oils that are very harmful, like canola oil. And I know a lot of people use canola oil for cooking. And there are really other more natural sources of fat that you can use for cooking that are much, much healthier. So those are the fats that you want to stay away from. Now, the fats that you want to include in your daily diet will come from things like organic whole eggs, organic grass-fed meats, natural and raw nut butters and nuts, olive oil, coconut oil, and natural butter. Now, I know what you're thinking. Coconut oil, butter, meat, those things have tons of saturated fat. Am I going to get heart disease? No. And I actually am so passionate about that topic that I've created a separate video, The Truth Behind Saturated Fat. So I really suggest that you watch that to clear up any misconceptions you have about saturated fat. But for now, let's get back to the healthy sources of fat you want to have in a day. Oh, and I actually forgot, salmon. What a great, great source of omega-3s along with flaxseed oil and walnuts. So here you have all of these choices. How are you going to incorporate them into your day so you get a healthy amount of fat during the day? For breakfast, if you make yourself eggs, make sure that you make the whole egg. You must eat organic eggs to benefit from the fat in the yolk. An organic egg actually has a high amount of omega-3s in the yolk, where a conventional egg does not. So do yourself a favor and only buy organic eggs. So there's your healthy source of fat in the morning. And I would cook my eggs in either coconut oil or butter. Now, as a snack, I always carry around raw nuts and nut butters, preferably almonds for their high fiber content and walnuts for the high amount of omega-3s. So there you go, healthy fats for your snacks mid-morning and mid-afternoon. For lunch and dinner, you can have some salmon, which has omega-3s in it. You can use olive oil as your dressing. You can include an avocado on a salad or with your vegetables. And there you have included a healthy fat in every single one of your meals. Honestly, once I incorporate healthy fat into a lot of my clients' meal plans, they actually feel less hunger throughout the day. They feel more satiated. And then it's a lot easier to eat healthy because they feel satisfied. So if you're feeling hunger all day long, you're probably not eating enough good fats. So for more information on how to put together a healthy, satisfying, fat-burning meal plan for yourself, visit my website at thedietsolutionprogram.com.